And welcome back to the Zoltaeus Gaming Channel. I am your host, Zoltaeus. Back with another boss boss review episode of Empire of Sin. So, we've talked about three. The last one was Maybell Riley, wouldn't you know it. Uh, next, we're going to talk about Elvira Duarte. Los Luceros. So, her empire bonus is for casinos. You get an additional casino guard. So, if the first level was three guards, you get four. If the third level was seven guards, you get eight. Uh, depending on the size, I mean, that will just, it'll everything will increase by one. So, once again, if you're looking for casinos, uh, an extra casino guard can go a long way, especially if you don't get your guys there in time. Uh, one extra casino guard or one extra guard period can make the difference. And I know this because in a playthrough, I'm pretty sure I had it was uh, I think it was four on four. And just if I had only had three, I, I they would have won with only one of their guys down. But because I had four, I took all four of their guys down and still had two left. And I know this because it happened in a different scenario where I had uh, three guys and they had four. And it just it just happened to go that way for me. Now, some of that may have been luck. Some of that may have been the percentage to hit. But extra guards make the difference. Brothel uh, security cost is down 20%. So if you want to go brothels and casinos, you know, you have your security costs down. You get an extra casino guard basically for free. So, you know, not, not bad, right? Uh, so now the diplomatic bonus is peacemaker. So faction rating when making non-aggression packs with a pack plus 100. So this actually can be a huge deal if you are trying to, to role play that, you know, that simulated peace between... Uh, all of the the factions so when you make a non-aggression pack you get a plus 100 faction rating bonus which means all of the factions are much more willing to, to trust you uh, much less willing to start wars with you much more willing to to go into to deals with you so you know big deal right that's that's a uh uh, that's something that should not be taken lightly because as the, the difficulties get higher, the more bosses there are uh, around and the bigger your empire gets, the more you want to, to worry less about other factions attacking you, possibly marking you, possibly, you know, anything. And more you can focus on management of your empire, expanding your empire, uh, more you can focus on bribing police, you know, just different things like that. So really, uh, depending on how you role play it, that, that the game, that can be a big deal. Boss ability. So devil's breath. Blow a cloud of psychotropic smoke into your target's face. The target will temporarily become your ally, but at a cost. The effect will cause damage over time, eventually killing them. So here's how I see this being amazing, right? You go into a boss's uh, area. One of their big hitters comes at you. You use Devil's Breath on them. So... One of the downfalls to this could be that you have to kind of place your boss out there, right? So some people, when they when they take on strongholds and things like that, they like to play really strategic and have people come to them. In this case, you may not be able to do that. I'm not going to show this because everything it, it's. I mean, it says it all. You take over someone, and and I'll still I'll show it, I'll show it to you in combat, but you take over someone like they they become your ally but at a cost you know damage over time eventually killing them in a playthrough uh i actually had this happen to me uh i was playing i think it was a full run through of daniel mckee jackson and uh i i ran into a a stronghold and i was just like you know what no big deal uh i've got six people you know i can 
I can do this pretty easily and took one of my best guys and did this. And I thought it was a temporary thing until I eventually read it later. And I was just like, oh, regardless, unless I take this person down from a distance, which like, like we know bosses, lots of hit points, right? Uh, it's doable, but you have to really focus efforts, which means you could get swarmed pretty quick. Uh, it it can be it can be devastating depending on who they get. Now, obviously, you can't do this to a boss, right? Why did it? Hey, you are not Elvira Duarte, okay? No, try again. So, let's show you what the ability is and show you the damage over time, just so we can understand the ability itself. All right. Back with Elvira. Gonna equip just like normal. And now let's let's go find a decent sized group to play with. Just to see. Ooh, look at that. There are four of them in there. Let's go in there. Man, we are lucky. So just to see if we can't see some different outcomes i'm gonna save and we are gonna go piss off some thugs all right i am under attack by thugs how dare you thugs you sir fight for me And as you can see, he's already down 10 hit points. So it looks like he's only got two or three turns left. So we're going to have him go attack. Bam. I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> Man, is he down? He's down. <laughs> uh, but yes, so... That's how the ability works. Um, unfortunately, on thugs, you know, you're not gonna. It's 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 gonna be. It's gonna have less of an effect because they're all gonna go after him. But I mean, that literally gave me a free turn. So I, I it's it's really it's really hard to complain. Uh, wow, and she missed all of those shots. But it worked. I mean. It worked to its effect. It gave you that extra time. So if you are in a situation like that, you have the ability to, to kind of get yourself out. So that's good. Uh, let's find... Let's find a, uh, a different scenario. Let's say something a little bit... Uh, some, some heavier hitters. All right. So we've got a decent situation here. Some pretty hip... Oh, jeez. What happened? I don't remember telling it to do this, but either way. All right, so heavy hitters. We got a 54, we got a 70, 54, 70, and then over here we've got 80 and 100. So in cases like this where you can strategize, I would highly recommend, because if I were to, to start an attack over here, uh, all these guys would join in even the cops uh over there which i think it would be very entertaining to take over a uh a cop but uh and apparently they're scoping out places so i'm gonna i'm gonna let them do their thing and we're gonna come back when i can take this guy over because 100 hit points i think he'd last a little while let's see how well elvira and the 100 hit point white city circus guard does against one, two, three, four, five enemies. All right, let's start this up. What? No valid targets. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. Uh, that's uh, one of the things you will have to be careful with, with this ability, is you can't just use it on anyone willy-nilly. They have to be enemies. So they have to be an enemy to you in order for you to use it. So what I am going to do is I am 100% going to do this. How did I miss so many times? So now this guy is going to run away. 
And how does he get to go first? That's crap. So I'm gonna move over here because I want this guy. Ow. 61! Oh, thank goodness he missed. Yeah, lucky. I don't feel so lucky. Wow. They are not good. Assholes. That one person over there was mad because I because I shot her. Alright, that ends the turn. This person is gonna Why are you still running away? I hate you. Okay. Alright, we finally got him. He ran so far away. You are now mine. Now let's see if I survive. <laughs> It doesn't look like I'm going to. Moving. Wow, they're just overwatching? Alright, well, ah. I survived. We are going to heal her. Because she needs it. And let's... Who is this? You. I don't care about you. Let's... Bam, one down. Alright, that's good. Two down. Ooh. Oh, and she's down. That took a lot of chasing, but uh, as soon as I took him over, I mean, we were just dropping people. Now, that person that I originally shot, she, she, she was really good with that rifle, but Either way, you can see the uh, usefulness of it. So I'm not going to go into to too much detail, but that's going to do it for this episode. Like and subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you in the next video.